Welcome to Tech Corner at ESP Guitars. My name is Todd Binder, VP of Product Development. Today I'm going to show you how to intonate an ESP guitar equipped with a Floyd Rose double locking bridge. Let me start by briefly explaining what intonation is. Intonation refers to the accuracy of the pitch when playing a musical instrument such as an electric guitar. For an electric guitar we need to adjust the scale length which is from the end of the string to the nut. By adjusting this length of the string, you're going to fine tune the position to make sure that all the frets play in tune and in pitch with each other. If a guitar is not properly intonated, then when you play chords or notes across the neck, you may find that one area plays more in pitch or in tune than another area, and that's the purpose of intonating each string so that it plays in tune across the fingerboard. There are a few factors which affect intonation that I would like to point out before we start. First is the string gauge and tuning. If you change your tuning or string gauge, it will require you to adjust your intonation. Second is the string material, wound or unwound, nickel steel, stainless steel, different types of string material will require different intonation adjustments. Third is the string action or string height. If your strings are higher off the frets, then they'll need more intonation adjustment or different intonation adjustment compared to low or medium height strings. There are also two more factors which could affect intonation that it's important to check before you start. The first is the condition of the frets, and the second is the condition of the strings. Both the frets and the strings you want to be in good condition. Use new strings if possible and make sure they're not worn out so that they will intonate better. Alright, so just to clarify what we do when we check for intonation, we need to check the open tuning for every string and compare that open note with the fretted note at the 12th fret. This is the halfway point between the end of the string here at the intonation point and the nut. So you want this 12th fret to match the perfect pitch of that note open and fretted at the 12th. Here are the tools you'll need. A good digital tuner, a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench, a 3 millimeter Allen wrench, a small flathead screwdriver, and a string winder. Before you check your intonation, it's a good idea to make sure your string action and truss rod adjustments have been made before you start with your intonation. Okay, we've checked everything and we're ready to begin. Let's start by checking that we are tuned to the correct pitch. Okay, we're in tune. Now I'm going to start with the high E string. We want to check to see what the open note is compared to the fretted note at the 12th fret. So I can pluck the open note, check it on the tuner, make sure that I'm in tune. I also like to use the harmonic at the 12th fret, which gives me the same reading. Now that note, you want to compare it to the fretted note. This is the fretted note. As you can see, the fretted note is flat. So in this case, when the fretted note is flat, I need to move the saddle towards the nut. If my fretted note was sharp, I would need to move the saddle away from the nut. I'm going to set my guitar down, and what I need to do is I'm going to loosen this screw that holds down the saddle. We'll use a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench to loosen that screw. Before we do that, we need to make sure the nut clamps are loosened so that we can detune the strings. Now that that's loosened, what I'll do is I'll just manually detune the string so it relieves some tension from the bridge. We need to do that because if I loosen the saddle at the bridge, the saddle would just pop forward and it's got a little bit too much tension on it. So I loosen that. Now this string is detuned. I'm going to take my 2.5 millimeter wrench and insert it here. And before I loosen this, I want to take a look at where the saddle is in position on the bridge. I can see that I've got about a couple millimeters to move it forward. And what I want to do is I'll take my small screwdriver here and just hold it so that this saddle doesn't pop forward. Carefully loosen this. Now just taking my finger, I'm just going to push the saddle forward, maybe about a millimeter or so. And I can push back with my left hand if I've gone too far. I just want to go about a millimeter or so, and then I'm going to lock it down once I get there. Once again, you want to just take this screw to snug and just a hair pass snug. You don't need to over tighten this as you could run into stripping the threads. Okay, that's done. Now I'm going to tune this back up. We'll check the open note. You can use the open note like this or you can use the 12th fret harmonic. 
Now we're going to compare that to the fretted note. We're in tune. So that string's been intonated properly. Let's move on to the next string, which is the B string. We'll check open. Make sure that we get this in tune. Okay. Open, fretted. It's a hair flat, just a hair. So what we're gonna do, just like we did on the E string, we'll detune this. Take our 2.5 millimeter wrench, loosen the saddle hold down screw, and I'll hold my small flathead screwdriver there, and I'll just position it forward just a half a millimeter. Tighten it back down and tune it back up. Here's the open note. Here's the fretted note. We're good. Okay, we've intonated the high E and the B strings. Let's check the G string and see where we're at with this one. Okay, open note, fretted note. That's perfect. Doesn't need any adjustment. Okay, we've adjusted the top three strings. Let's check the D string. It's the first wound string here. We'll tune the open note. I'm just hitting the harmonic there just to double check the open note. All right, once that is in tune, like it is, we'll check it, the fretted position. You can see it's a hair sharp. So in this case, the open note and the fretted note, the fretted note is a little bit sharp, so what I'm gonna need to do is loosen the saddle and move that saddle position away from the nut, away from the neck, basically lengthening that string length. So we will detune the string Take the 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench, insert it here, and take note of the position of the saddle before we loosen it so that I can take my left hand with the small screwdriver and while I loosen it, I'm just gonna push on that saddle, just moving it slightly back away from the nut. I've moved it back about a millimeter or half millimeter. I'm gonna tighten this back down and then I'm going to tune it back up to pitch. Okay, let's check that open note. Make sure it's in tune. Okay, fretted. Now, sometimes you'll notice that if you hit the string harder or softer, it could affect the attack of that note. So you kind of want to look at the general uh, middle section of that note. If it registers a hair sharp or hair flat, see where it settles. Let's check it open again. And fretted. And we're there. The string is intonated. Today we've shown you how to adjust your intonation on an ESP guitar equipped with a Floyd Rose double locking bridge. We hope you've enjoyed the video and it's been helpful. Thanks for checking out today's video, and we'll see you next time.